Are you thinking about moving to Peoria, Arizona? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 reasons that I think you'll love Peoria. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Brian Fall and I'm a real estate agent here in the greater Phoenix area. If you're looking to move here in a month or a year or even longer, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to talk with you and help give you some additional information on different communities and cities to ensure making the move here is the right fit for you. Now, I am partial to Peoria. Peoria is my hometown and I was born and raised here, so I really love it. That means I know all the good and all the bad that Peoria has to offer starting with number 10 and that is going to be spring training so right in the middle of Peoria we have a spring training facility here and that is where the San Diego Padres and the Seattle Mariners do their spring training now typically spring training takes place uh, kind of the mid February uh, games usually start end of February and go through the end of March this is nice because well one the weather is nice and it's something for you to go out and do and you can buy tickets and watch them practice watch their game What's also pretty cool is nearby we have lots of other spring trainings just outside Peoria you can go out to Surprise, you can go to Glendale go out to Scottsdale, there's spring training all around, but right in the center of Peoria, we do have a spring training facility. And right around there, actually, the Peoria Sports Complex, they call it, a lot of shopping and dining. So uh, you'll see people go from the games, go out to get lunch or dinner right after. And when that facility is not being used, typically you'll find high school, junior high age group, they'll play their games there as well at the spring training facilities. And number nine is gonna be that we have six golf courses here in Peoria. And these range in quality and price to play them. Now one of these six is in a private golf course community so it's not open to the public but maybe if you know somebody you can get a hookup. The other five are spread throughout the city as well. Three of them are in age-restricted retirement communities but they are open to the public. So you have one in uh, Trilogy at Pistancia and then there's another retirement community called Westbrook Village that has two 18-hole courses. And at the very south end of the city you'll have uh, Peoria Pines and then at the very north end out in the middle of the desert is a course called Quintero which is a beautiful course top rated in the state so if you're a golfer plenty of options for you to get out and golf number eight Peoria is quite diverse while Hispanics and whites do make up majority of the population we have seen an increase in other ethnicities throughout the city and as I mentioned I did grow up here and still do live here in Peoria so throughout my childhood and adult life I've seen a good spread throughout the community of all different types of ethnicities. Number seven is the city parks. Now there are three major city parks. I'm not talking about the ones within the communities or subdivisions, but these are three large parks that the city maintains. And what's cool about it is they're spread out throughout the community almost perfectly. So you have one at the very south end of Peoria called Pioneer Park, one kind of in the middle of the city called Rio Vista, and then one at the very north end of Peoria called Paloma Park. Now what's cool about these three is they have a lot of the same features at each of them. They all have a lake that you can fish at. These are man-made lakes, but you'll find people fishing, uh, feeding the ducks, things like that. They also have softball fields. So on a weekend, you might see Little League playing their games there. On the evenings, uh, you will see adult leagues playing their sports there. Of course, they have children's playgrounds, dog parks. They have splash pads for the kids. The Rio Vista one in the middle also has a rec center, so they have a gym, basketball court, indoor, different dance classes for kids and things like that. They also have a veterans wall there. No matter where you're at, located throughout Peoria, you're always gonna be pretty close to one of these major city parks. Number six is the desert. What I mean by that is on the north end of Peoria, there's a lot of untouched desert space, I believe owned by the State Trust Land or BLM. But nonetheless, it's a great spot for people to go out. You'll find people camping in the winter when the weather's beautiful. You'll find people out there with dirt bikes, quads, razors, horseback riding, and they go out and they're gone for hours on end. There's tons of wide open desert or trail riding. Uh, you can get up into the mountains north of Phoenix if you wanna go. Early in the mornings or evenings, there's uh, hot air balloon rides out there. That's kind of where they take off and uh, whatnot. So, Definitely cool if you're one that likes to go out in the middle of the desert and off-road or do anything like that. Peoria has that within the city limits. Number five is location. Now Peoria is located in the northwest area of Phoenix and we have two freeways that kind of run through parts of Peoria. One of them being the 101 freeway which connects the uh, Interstate 10 and the I-17 going north out of uh, Phoenix and then a little bit on the outskirts of the 101 we have the 303 freeway. So no matter where you're at within the city of Peoria, you kind of have quick access to either one of those uh, loop freeways. 
And what's nice about that, it's like I said, if you're gonna be leaving town, going maybe to California or going north, those loops connect directly to those interstates. But further, I find that a lot of people that are in Peoria like to go to north central Phoenix, kind of near downtown or Scottsdale for shopping and dining, uh, just because there's uh, more options in those areas. And that's gonna be anywhere from 30 to 40 minute drive, all freeway from Peoria. And then same with the airport, you can expect about a 35 to 40 minute drive directly to the airport. Number four is going to be our schools here in Peoria. And what I like about the schools is that you have options here. You of course have the Peoria Unified School District, which is the public schools, which I happen to be a product of. That's where I went to school all the way from kindergarten through high school in the Peoria district. Um, but also throughout Peoria, you have options for private and charter schools as well. So no matter where you're at, you're gonna have those school options nearby. What's nice about the Peoria Unified School District is they are an A-rated school district and their sports programs overall are ranked number three in the state. So I've helped clients that have selected specific high schools for their kids to go play at based on uh, how good their sports programs are. So definitely a lot of good options uh, if you have kids and are concerned about schools. We are down to the top three things I think you'll love about Peoria. So number three is the hiking and walking trails that we have here in Peoria. Now on the north end of Peoria, we have a few different mountains that you can hike, uh, mountain bike. And so if you're one that likes to be out, there is plenty of options for that. My family and I, we like hiking, so you'll find us on these trails as well. There is five different specific like hiking trails on the north end. And then also throughout the city coming down south, right along the 101 freeway is an area called Skunk Creek. I've never seen a skunk there, so I'm not sure where I got the name. But nonetheless, there's a path that you can walk, ride your bike. Um, I've seen them run like people have done uh, half marathons there through the city. And that trail actually will connect you all the way and you can take these canals all the way down to downtown Phoenix. Nonetheless, no matter where you're at within the city, if you're one that wants to go hiking, biking, there is plenty of options for you here in the city. Number two is the housing. Of course, I was gonna mention something with real estate, right? Uh, what I mean by that is that Peoria has a lot of options when it comes to the types of homes we have available here. Spread throughout all of Peoria, there's so many different options for you. So there's there's small homes built, you know, some I've seen in, in uh, downtown Peoria as old as 1900. Um, and then we're still building new construction here in Peoria in the north end of town. So widespread of ages, uh, we have homes that are HOA, no HOA, irrigated properties, non-irrigated, some that allow you to have horses, some that don't. I mean, just you think of it and, and Peoria probably does have it. Price ranges are very wide. I mean, there's homes that have sold for $5 million, not many of them, and then as cheap as say 200,000. So kind of no matter what your budget is and what your needs are, there's a good chance Peoria does have that. Further within Peoria, we have a four different retirement communities. Now these are communities that have an age restriction on who lives there, but there's four different communities anywhere built from the 1980s up until just now, they're still finishing up one of the communities. So no matter your age, what you're looking for, there's tons of different options for housing here in the city of Peoria. So the number one thing I love about Peoria is Lake Pleasant. Now this is a lake located on the north end of the city, uh, out in the middle of the desert, kind of at the base of the mountains. And it's actually the second largest lake in the state of Arizona and the largest lake in the greater Phoenix area. What I like about it is no matter where you're at within Peoria, you're typically about a 45 minute drive and you're on the water at Lake Pleasant. You can do anything on the water, kayak, fish, take your boat out, paddleboard, uh, go on the shoreline. You'll, you'll see a lot of people on the shoreline just park, you know, back their car up there and and play in the water. There's two restaurants on the lake. There's no houses on the lake. Nobody you know, has any lakefront housing, uh, but there's houseboats people have there. But if you're somebody that enjoys the water like I do, then you'll enjoy the lake uh, here in Peoria. Well, there you have it. My top 10 things that I love about Peoria, Arizona. Well, I'm sure I could have come up with more items. Those are the top 10 things that really stuck out in my mind uh, as to why I love it here. Born and raised here. I've uh, kind of seen it all and experienced most of it and uh, truly does have a lot to offer uh, here in Peoria. So if you're looking to you know, get any additional information or move here, uh, feel free to reach out to me, give me a call, text, or email. I've had many clients just like you that watch these videos and had some additional questions. They've reached out and I've helped guide them. Many of them, uh, I've helped them move here and get them settled in the right spot for them. So uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.